Hey everybody, this is Greg again with Beginning Reloading with a Lee Classic Turret Press. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done any videos. Uh, about the time I got started doing videos was right before the whole um, uh, Chinese, uh, oh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you have to be careful. You can't even say the words in videos these days without YouTube banning your video. But anyway, I'm sure you guys know uh, something that, that happened here that's kept us all um, kind of from doing what we, doing what we wanted. Uh, there's also been a huge shortage on reloading supplies, which has made it um, very difficult. Uh, I was fortunate. I have I have quite a few supplies still left. But for any new reloaders, it's going to be very difficult. Um, bullets and cases are coming back now. Pretty easy to get. But uh, primers and powders are still very hard to get a hold of. But anyway, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be actually part um, part four and five of my process of uh, preparing two, two, three cases to reload. Now, the cases that you see on the tray here, these have all been um, deprimed, um, put through a wet tumbler, and they've also all the uh, pockets have all been checked for um, military crimps and, and been swaged if they had a military crimp. And now at that point, uh, I'm at a stage here where I'm going to start running. I'm going to run them all through a full size, uh, you know, full length uh, resizing die and the lube i use uh you may have you may have come across it it's the uh oh bear with me here it's this liquid uh liquid lanolin oil that you see here um you mix that with uh with rubbing alcohol or i shouldn't say rubbing alcohol but oh i believe it's like 92 percent isopropyl alcohol that also became hard to get with the uh with the with the pandemic and so you can also use this stuff bought at a um an auto parts store this heat you can also mix this with the landland to come up with the same same type of thing but i've used this and had excellent luck with it you can see i, I lay all my i lay my cases out like that on on a this is a tray with just a, a paper towels on it and i just give these things a light uh, a light spray across the front the front tops like so and then i just separate i separate the piles and just roll them with my fingers like so just a couple times back and forth Nothing fancy, but that's really all it takes. This is all I do. I've, I haven't had a single problem with a stuck case since I started doing two two threes. Uh, I don't. I haven't reloaded any other uh, rifle rounds yet. Eventually, I'll be doing some six millimeter once I shoot uh, my my Ruger RPR. I've got a couple upper, a couple hundred rounds of new ammunition that I bought back when I got the rifle. So I've got two hundred cases, and I'll have to get the you know the. The supplies of the lead and, and powder and everything to reload those but that's all i do to get these things ready just roll them around like that let them sit for a minute uh, i bought this uh this is a uh, glass spray bottle that i bought off of amazon um I'll, I'll, if i if it's still a valid link i'll put it down below in the description but that's what i use then uh you kind of see the, the press over here is going to be almost out of, out of screen i tried to get the thing centered where you could see it but at that point I've got my, uh, I actually run two turrets for my 223. I basically have a, a 223 prep turret, and then I also have a, a 223 load turret when I get ready to actually load. Um, and you'll see all these steps broken down in the different videos. But basically, I've got a sizing die in this turret, and then also when, um, once I resize all of these, then I'm going to run them back through. I'll, I'll flip my turret around, run them back through. And then I use, uh, so you can get this in the picture here. I use this uh, this Lee cutting die for the cases, just with my my drill motor, and that's how I that's how I trim all my cases. I trim them with this, and then the last step is I'll run them over. You probably can't if I try to move this without getting it too too funky, without messing up the picture too much here. Bear with me. Um, you can see over here. I've got a uh, I've got a Lyman case trimmer uh, machine that I brought that I bought. And I'll be honest, um, I did not like it for trimming cases. It was very, very hard on the hands, slow. The motor spins very slowly. Um, I ended up keeping it. And then what I use, I actually just use it for the uh, the dechamper and deburr uh, for the cases after I trim them on the, on the turret. I don't actually use the case trimmer that's in this. So, but get back over here to the, uh, the press itself. These should be ready to go. Go ahead and get this spun around. Take that off for now and basically i'm just going to run each case up in full length resize them 
drop them off in there. I'll do all these one at a time. And granted, this is not a super, you know, super fast process. Um, I don't shoot a whole lot, especially since ammunition and supplies have become, you know, short supply. Um, so the pace I go is, is, is fine with me. I'm not in a big hurry. I actually prefer to take a little time. It gives me, you know, allows me to kill some time. Just sitting here with some music going. It's kind of relaxing. I, I kind of find it uh, therapeutic almost, to be honest. But you see these, these, these are, are full length resizing. Very easy. You can feel the lube on the cases. That one's a little stiff, but come right, you know, you see them come right back out. Like I said, I've never had an issue with a stuck case uh, using that lube in the system that I've got here. So I won't bore you with doing these. Um, I'm going to resize all these. And at that point, once I'm done with these, I'll come back and run them all through the, uh, the case trimmer, uh, deburr them, and de um, de chamfer them. Of course, I'll be checking the measurements on the cases, every few cases, to make sure the cut length is right. And then um, at that point, they'll all go back into the wet tumbler with no pins just to clean all the oil and any, um, any uh, shavings, brass shavings or anything. They'll all go back in the tumbler. They'll clean them one more time, dry them. And at that point, they'll be, uh, they'll be ready to load. All right. See you in the next video.